to another week of The Power of Positive Thinking. My name is Emily Whelan and I'm here to help you learn how to grow and develop a more positive mindset. And this week I want to talk about why you should always put yourself first. So since becoming a new mum, I have really, really come to understand uh, the benefits of putting yourself first. Now I know this might seem um, a little bit strange for, for a mum because uh, very often mums tend to feel guilty and when I was doing courses and workshops and connecting with hundreds of women over the last year or two, a lot of the women actually felt guilty for putting their own needs first. And it's something that I really, really want to address. Um, and I want to help women to overcome this feeling um, of guilt around putting their own needs first. And here's why it's so important. So you have to do good for yourself in order to do good for others in the world. So whether it's friends, family, people in the community. I mean, if your cup is half full, then there's not gonna be much left to give to other people. But if you have a full cup and you give to yourself first, then you're gonna have so much more to give to others. Does that make sense? You've heard that saying, my cup runneth over. Well, what's in your cup is for you. And then the rest that spills out is for everybody else. And if you keep your cup full, then you're always going to have plenty in there and more spilling out to give to other people. So this is a really important lesson and one that I've really come to understand over the last couple of months. You know, I'm not getting as much sleep as I used to. I'm, I'm a lot more tired. Um, you know, my daily routine has completely changed. Um, you know, every day is different. My to-do lists are piling up. I don't have the same time that I used to. And, you know, it's all very new to me. And if you're anyone like me, um, and is, you know, very ambitious and, you know, likes to have goals and plans and everything organized, um, we tend to put a lot of demands on ourselves. And, you know, we sometimes can end up putting you know those needs before our own needs so it's become very very obvious to me that you know i have to look after me first because i want to be there for my little girl and i want to be happy and healthy and strong so you know my number one value in life has always been to look after my physical mental and emotional well-being so i do make the time to put that first so that I can be there and I can give more and I can be a happier um, person as well because of that. So if you're the type of person that feels guilty, that's constantly beating themselves up because they haven't got A, B, C and D done, then, you know, have a little bit of compassion for yourself, um, you know, and just stop feeling so guilty, you know, give yourself the permission to put yourself first, give yourself a little break. Sometimes we have to say no, to say yes to ourselves. And it's just about maybe asserting ourselves a little bit. So it may feel a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning, but I promise, you know, once you start taking action and start practicing this, you will be so glad that you did. So, and this is the action step that I want you to get started on right now. So I want you to look um, at your daily schedule, what you do from when you get up in the morning till you go to bed in the evening and see how stressful it is, you know, put it on a scale of one to ten, how stressful is your day, you know, what's coming up in your week and I want you to look for the opportunities where you can actually put your own needs first, um, you know, so you may have to say no to something in order to say yes to yourself but I want you to make a conscious effort this week to do something for yourself. It might just be going for a half hour walk some day on the beach or something. Maybe you haven't been there for a while. I might be going for a cup of coffee or making a friend for lunch or dinner. I might be going to the cinema or I might just be organizing a date night for yourself and your partner so you can have a little breather for a couple of hours. I leave it up to you, but just have fun with this exercise. Put your own needs first for once and start practicing it more often. 
that's it for today. If you liked this video, please share and of course sign up to my newsletter on www.emilywheelandcoaching.com. See you next time. Oh,